Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a new episode of Legends. Since uh, we're into Ryan's decks, uh, that's Budge Innovation. In game name, you can add him as a friend. He builds crazy stuff, and this is another one of his masterpieces. Hopefully. <laughs> uh, so this is a Dragon Rage Crusader. And we're playing against Oberon Click, playing a Ulalu, which by now does not seem to be an aggro Lalu. It's either mid Lalu or control Lalu. Which I'm a bit worried about. I don't know how this deck works against uh, control decks. Just tested it in casual against some aggro stuff and it did quite well. We've got Billigrin uh, Giants, you've got Cradle Crush Giants and you've got tons, tons of drain thanks to that baby right there. Golden Initiate, uh, Ebon Heart Oracle and Hunger. Oh look it's a Golden Initiate. <laughs> Uh, 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 so I'm a control mid sort of control crusader and looks like Oberon Click is playing a mid controlish Lalu. Not attacking, so he's waiting for stuff. Mm. Let's do some drain of our own. I want to be ready when... Uh, our dragons come by. Undying dragon. If you have over 30 HP, it's a 10-10. <laughs> hmm. That was a good move. A pretty good move. Darkfire Sedusa. Let's block any javelins, any cast into time. Okay, Blurgrin Giant. Removing Dark Fire Sedusa. I will just lay it down right back where it came from. Blocking five cost stuff again. Although could be playing Rage, I don't know. So we may see a Rage coming down. That's not in Magicka. Snake Tooth and um, uh, Necklace. Oh, he's going to drain for a lot. Fox is going to recruit. Uh, what to do, what to do? Well, I'll tell you what I can do. I'm going to get up Willow and Giant, and I'm going to throw away that Fox is good recruit. Because I have Unstoppable Rage. I have Ring Charges, so I could use even an Oracle on 12 Magicka with the Ring, uh, plus Unstoppable Rage to clear a lane and to get some decent HP back. <laughs> oh, cost into time. Uh, yeah, I'm going to destroy that with my Javelin. Duke Vidim Dren, that's not something I want a control Lalo to have on the board. Opponent is not so keen in attacking. Waiting for the right pieces. So there are quite a lot of options that my opponent could play. There he went. Attacking everything. <laughs> All I need now... Oh, come on. Could have used... 
a hunger. A hunger plus unstoppable rage would have gained me a lot of HP. A lot. And I could have cleared the shadow lane. Fortunately, we have none. So I'm just going to play the camel. Mm, let's get a vigilant giant. More dragons in the discard pile means whenever we will draw Alduin, that's going to be sweet. Uh, this could be Aini's conscription, Alalu. Could be running conscription. Okay. Boomer Profiteer and Rift Thane. Well, if I don't get a good card, I'm dead. Only 9 HP. And Odaving, top deck. That was close. Oh, I could have uh, could have overdrawn it. <laughs> Let's get it into the field lane. If our opponent is packing... Uh, I don't know what my opponent could be packing. If he's packing like Alina or... Oh, that's even worse. <laughs> good, uh, good deck, including uh, Grummet Margus in there. I'm going to steal Grummet Margus. Let's hit for face. Okay. Deal three more damage. Probably shouldn't have dealt so much damage, but... Oh, look. Oh, nice. Play, nice play. <laughs> nice play on number and clicks uh, initiative to use red. Yeah, I had quite the board there set up. Could have went for lethal next turn. Got uh, plenty of cards. Let's get the lookout out. Maybe, maybe, maybe we get a dragon. Got so many dragons in this deck, and uh, I threw two away, and now I have none. <laughs> oh, there's hunger. Too bad we don't have any unstoppable rage right now. Let's draw some cards. Eat your Oreos. I don't have any Oreos. I sure would like to have some. So we've got our own copy of Red here. Yeah, so in case over and click drops a conscription, it's going to be fun. Immolating Blast. <laughs> so we've got a Golden Initiate left and the Lookout. Which is good. Stormcloak Vanguard. And Crusaders Assault to get rid of that Golden Initiate. Well played. Well played. I got nothing. A tiny dragon. I could use it to draw a card. But there's no point in, in laying it down. Oh, a javelin. <laughs> Take that. Vigilant Giant should help us um, put some pressure. My opponent only has 4 HP. Cast into time. That's not good, is it? A Bruma Profiteer. And Stormcloak Battalion. Opponent is already up to 5 HP. I don't want to use the red yet. Not yet. Let's see what we can draw here. Ooh, our second copy of Ebonaut Oracle. I guess Tiny Dragon is good to play right now. 
and I'll just combine it with an ambusher to to take care of that fuel lane. Problematic fuel lane. Let's get an Ebon Oracle out. That Stormcloak Battalion will either trade or have something better in mind. Hmm. Overround Click is playing excellently as usual. Look, he's, non he's already Legends uh, number 34. Uh, we're, as you can see, I've already progressed quite a bit. And I'm now in rank 2. So, well, I estimate that we'll reach Legends before uh, mid mid of the month. Excellent play with another necklace. Grabbing HP to 11. Uh, okay, so Tiny Dragon is uh, going to get rid of that battalion. How to get rid of that aspect because I only got 6 HP and if I don't, next turn is bye-bye. Uh, ah, oh, damn it, I should have placed the other Ebon Heart Oracle down when I used Sword of the Inferno. Could have healed for 4. <laughs> That's a good thing. Piercing Javelin on the field lane Oracle and trading in with Aspect. Mm -mm -mm -mm. How do I deal with that Apex Wolf? Honestly, I don't know. Let's uh, let's just draw some cards, I guess. If I destroy that, there's no telling what might be having plus two, plus two. A Sanctuary Pet. Oh boy. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Well, I think I'll have to ready yeah, there's, there's no doubt about it. Uh, the... Uh, the new animation of Redia looks amazing. The guys as Pocky Pants uh, did this and feels quite epic. They've also uh, modified the Unite the Houses and game. And I'm, I'm going to play some Unite soon. Because I really, really want to see how that, uh, that Unite the Houses effect works now. Uh, 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 um, let's play Tiny Dragon just to get that high defender to 5 HP just so our Crusader's Assault would be very useful oh there's Alduin there's Alduin and unfortunately if we play Alduin we're going to give over and click Another, yeah, another creature with drain and, uh, and break through. There's no telling what. The must take back mm. This is not looking good. Not looking good at all. Oh, well, I guess I'll have to Alduin. My opponent has only one card in hand. What are the odds that that card is a hard removal? So let's see what dragon we pulled out next. <laughs> no dragon because Don Wrath! Sanctuary Pat with Drain. And that's going to be problematic to remove thanks to that Praetorian Commander buffed uh, all of my opponent's creatures inside his deck. Plus one, plus one. It 
it's uh, going to be I think they're kind of useless it's nothing except maybe a fifligion trainer I don't know anyway I only have one rune active just one <laughs> Oh boy, here comes the drain and all this stuff. Huh. Where does it come from? Check out. Check it out. We've got to uh, devour. Going to devour that nasty, nasty, nasty territorial viper to avoid any archer's gambits that might be played. Over on click is down to 7 HP. And, uh, and what a great match. Hats off to you, sir, over and click. Whew. Thank you guys for watching. Cheers. Cheers.